What I want to show you in this video is how to set up a PowerShell environment so that you can connect to all the Microsoft 365 services. Now I've got a virtual machine here that I've just spun up, Windows 10. The first thing to do is we need to go to the internet and just grab a script that I have created to make it easy for you. So if you go to my GitHub, github.com forward slash director CIA, go into the Office 365 repo and scroll through until you find a file called o365-setup. All right, so o365-setup, so here it is here. Select that, you'll see that that will give you the listing of what it does. Basically, we'll go and install all the modules for you, but the easiest way is simply to select the raw button and then let's uh, basically copy uh, everything on that page. Now that we have the script copied, let's go and run our PowerShell environment here. Now remember that we'll need to run uh, PowerShell in uh, as an administrator because we are going to be installing uh, modules. So make sure that you are going to run PowerShell as an administrator. So I will do that and accept the UAC here and that will bring up PowerShell for the very first time. So we're just going to tidy this up a little bit to make it a bit easier. Um, and again, so we're going to go in here and let's show the script pane and let us also uh, increase the font size here by using the control and the plus key. Maximize the screen, get rid of the commands over there. And then what I'm gonna do is I will paste the script that I just copied from my GitHub repo. So if you have a look in here, you'll see the, the core of it is, is largely uh, the install dash module and the name uh, of the particular module. So there's quite a few here. There's actually 12 or so to install from autopilot to the Microsoft graph to uh, Azure AD and so on. So once you have uh, copied that script into uh, your PowerShell, all you need to do is go and hit the run button and that is going to uh, kick off the process. Now you'll see here that uh, the current user didn't have the appropriate permissions in PowerShell. So the script is taking care of that to allow you to uh, do the install. And again, you'll see that it's now working through one of and two of the steps we need. So to go and install all the modules and just work its way uh, through all of these. So there's gonna be about 12 of those modules and they're going to vary uh, in the time that they take to install based on the size. Uh, and you'll see that displayed up the top here and you can go over on the right hand side here and scroll through and actually see what the progress is. Uh, so you'll be able to see that uh, moving through uh, all of those options. So at this stage, we're up to uh, the fourth of our modules. See the Teams module here is taking a bit longer, obviously because it's a larger module that it needs to download and install. So what we'll do is I will let that script uh, continue to run all the way through and we'll come back when that has complete. All right, so now that all the uh, appropriate modules uh, have been loaded there, uh, no errors, so we know the script is complete. So what we can do just to verify that uh, this isn't the case, we can go to the get module and then uh, list available. And in this case, we'll just pick uh, Microsoft Teams, hit enter, and you'll see here that it has installed uh, the latest version 2.6 at this point in time and we can now go and basically uh, work with that file so to actually uh, load that module what we need to do is type in import dash uh, module and then uh, again we would put in uh, the name of the module in this case we'll keep with our microsoft teams and we could then uh, once we've got that loaded into memory we could then go and uh, connect to our teams and run any commands that we want. So the idea with this script again is to make it easy for you to get your Microsoft 365 
um, PowerShell environment up and running. And the way that we basically did that is uh, I encourage you to go and take a look at the uh, script that I've created here on my GitHub repository. And again, you'll find that uh, basically at uh, github.com forward slash director CIA in the Office 365 repo. And it is a file called o365setup.ps1. You can go in there and have a look at it. Basically take a copy of that file as we did here. Make sure that you are running your PowerShell environment as an administrator so the modules can be installed. And then simply paste that script in as we did in the top here and then run that and then all those modules will be installed and you'll be good to go. So hopefully that's given you a nice easy way to get all your modules uh, up and running for use with PowerShell in Microsoft 365. Thank you very much for watching the video.